Barbara Bueller, who was then director of the library, came to a Friends of the Library board meeting and said, I've read about this great idea, started out on the West Coast, it's called the One Book Program. And I really liked that idea and wanted to bring it to our library. And so right from the beginning, we debated how we could do that and we decided we keep it a one book program, one main book, but we would have a second book at a middle level and a third book for preschoolers and early elementary. And that way, everybody in the family could be reading. We want something that crosses gender lines. Um, most book clubs are women's groups, so we really want to make sure that men would be interested in reading these books as well. We want them to be acceptable for the high school level because the high school students are included in our adult level books. And we want topics that will generate good discussion in the community. So it's just a fantastic idea to bring people together because they all have that, this one book in common. It's not that often that we all have one thing in common. At any time you have people who, who all read the same thing and then come together to discuss it and hear each other's ideas and take them into understanding I think that's always a great thing. One Book is such a wonderful program because it brings people in from all walks of life in a community. I think it strengthens communities. Today's hectic environment, people are, are, are very busy, so it's an opportunity for the entire community to come together and uh, share a common experience. Because sometimes, you know, people don't know how to start talking to somebody else, and this gives them a platform to have a conversation and to share ideas. I think it makes young people have dialogue with older people uh, in a way that um, they don't ordinarily get to do. It provides a common conversation. One of our main goals is just to get people reading. And that's why we have so many different programs. We have music, art, history, science, all these ways to lead to the book, to hopefully get people excited about the book and reading. The overall theme, which is where it really kind of comes back around to the library, is the theme of community and how do we define community, what's important to our community, what do we have in common. It's multi-layered. I think it's a great opportunity to get community members in to show the kids that reading is important. And then they see a representative or a chief of police or someone, a grown up, coming out and spend time and reading. And you get the opportunity to just share and just quiet down for just a minute. You know, when you walk into the classroom and you're the mayor, everybody, number one, gets really excited you're the mayor. But they never believe that you're gonna come in and actually sit down and read a book. Every year I've been a part of the program. I've typically read to the, the younger elementary school age children. And I've seen a kind of a chain reaction, if you will, where one parent talks about it and, and their positive experience reading the book with their child and they recommend it to others, and then it just grows and grows and, and works its way through the community. I went into a number of schools where we did school assemblies, and the kids, I, I do a little magic in that, and the kids always want to know how that worked. And I always tell them when I was a kid, I learned a magic number that helped me learn magic. And it's 793.8, which is where the magic books were stored in the Dewey Decimal System. So I spent my whole childhood. The kids are excited because they're meeting someone important. They're meeting someone who has accomplished a lot. If there's a group of kids who have read the book and they get together and they talk about it, I would like for the kid who likes to draw to pick up a pencil and start to draw. He was so awesome and, and the kids loved talking to him and listening to him. It's like a superstar is coming to visit us and there's just a buzz of excitement and enthusiasm throughout the entire campus. Choosing the book, I think, is, is probably the hardest part of the process. You know you're going to be committing a lot of time, and you want a book 
that people get excited about. It is work on one level, but at the same time, it's something that people don't mind putting the hard work into it. I love doing the, the case, the, uh, in the, the cases in the gallery. Uh, that's one of my favorite things to do. There's been so many people in, involved in the success of Alan Reed's. I think I get more out of the program than what I give. I've met so many interesting people and many of them have continued through the whole 10 years. If my participation in Alan Reed's uh, inspires some young person to read because, gosh, even police officers read. I think it's time well spent. I hope it's fun for other people. The feedback we get is great. It will remain in our community for many years to come and it's going to be a great asset. It's, it's just such a wonderful program. I'm, I'm honored to be a part of it. It's never dull. <laughs>